How are all of you doing today? I want to talk about some uh, driver's education tips to help you become a safe driver out here. As you know, it's very cold out here and it's difficult for cars to start. It's difficult when you're out driving because you want to drive around to see your friends, but because the weather's so cold, you tend to stay home. I think a lot of beginning drivers just are not sure how to handle the snow and ice. So you need to be listening. Uh, you need to be dropping some comments. And if this brings you value, give me some hearts and likes. Uh, I think if I was teaching all of you how to drive, I would take you through neighborhoods, have you make right turns, have you make left turns, and get you real comfortable with the snow and ice. Uh, you can't panic stop real hard when you're driving in your car. You have to be very smooth and very deliberate. Many of you are watching this because you want to learn how to drive. Many of you are watching this because you know me and I'm a state certified driving instructor. So it's really important that you follow this and then that you learn from it and then you like it and share. I appreciate those hearts. So um, when you're driving home from school, that's kind of the most challenging time because all of your friends and you want to get home. Maybe it's a race to get home. Maybe it's a race to get to school. It's never a race. I want you to take your time when you drive to school and when you drive home. Um, you have no one to impress. Most of the time, your mom and dad will let you drive to school. You just gotta warm up the car and clean it off. And a lot of you are like, I'm not gonna go out and do that. And your mom and dad are like, wow, we wanna let you drive, but you're not cleaning off the car. So you wanna volunteer to clean off the car. That's gonna really impress your mom and dad. And they love to come into a warm car and they would love to see you drive. The next thing I see is that a lot of beginners tend to not want to drive in bad weather. You need to take your time, be patient because you will slide around a little bit. You need to learn how to not overcorrect the steering wheel and not turn too hard. You want to go into your terms really smooth, you want to be patient, and you want to learn how the car drives. A bigger SUV drives different than a smaller uh, compact car. If you have questions, put them in. If this is bringing you value, drop some likes, drop some hearts. The next thing I see is that a lot of beginners are not prepared for the cold weather. You need to make sure your windshield wipers are working. You need to make sure you have washer fluid, right? You need to make sure you have jumper cables. And a hoodie or a hat is not a bad choice. But in weather that is under 40 degrees, you need a coat on, right? You need to uh, work to really stay warm. If you're 18 years old, you need to go to the Secretary of State, the Department of Motor Vehicles. There you need to take your knowledge test. You pass that test, then you will get something called a TIP. A TIP is a temporary instruction permit. They're usually good for 35 days, 45 days. They can be renewed. During that time period, you need to be driving with someone over 21 to get confident. And when you feel good about your parking and turning and merging out on the expressway, then go take that road test and see how you do. Let's go ahead and invite someone in. Let's, let's invite someone in. I sent an invite. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, so you have to practice. If you don't practice, you won't improve. And we all want to learn how to drive. You just have to improve. And it takes time. You have to have someone who's willing to help you. Typically, your mom or dad are coming home from work. They're tired. They're exhausted. They love you. They care. However, they just want to rest. So don't be upset at your mom and dad if they don't want to um, you know take you out typically you're going to be driving on the weekend with your mom and dad uh, you're going to be getting that experience you'll drive about an hour and when you drive about an hour you should be trying to make as many right turns as possible in the nearest lane right you want to drive in the nearest lane you want to take your time six hours is a good start 
Every person is different. Some teens or adults, you can learn how to drive in six hours. Some it might be eight hours. Some it might be 12. It really depends on what is comfortable for you. You have more questions? Put those questions in. Tell your friend, hey, he's on right now. Right? If I'm asking your questions, put a like in. Put a heart in. Right? Um, the next thing I see you got to be able to drive in different types of weather. You got to be able to drive to be able to drive in the rain. Hey, we got someone coming in. I'm excited. And it's really important that we all communicate. Hello, how are you? Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Let me turn up my volume a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Hi. Hey, how are you? Do you remember me? Yes, yes. Um, I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Um, just coming uh, from you know downtown Chicago land area, driving in the snow and ice. But I'm doing okay. And what about you? I'm doing great. I actually been trying to get in touch with you because I sent you a message, but because you don't follow me, it won't go through. I did try to follow you. Once we're done, um, I will follow you so we can help each other, support each other. Because I want to see you reach your goal. Most definitely. Thank you. How are you doing today? What questions are you answering today? Um, I'm talking about the snow and ice, okay. driving in the cold. A lot of beginners are not prepared for the snow and ice. Um, windshield washer fluid, wiper blades, learning how to control your car in the snow and ice, um, leaving a little bit early to go to school or leaving early to go to work because it's going to be stop and go. It might take you half an hour in regular um, climate, but when it's snow and ice, it might take an hour. Okay, okay, yeah. We have ice here, and it's nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> hey, yes, I totally get it. Um, ask me some questions. You're from Tennessee? Yes, yes. See, I remember. Come on now, girl. Stop playing. Stop <laughs> playing. Um, so I was talking uh, to some other instructors. We were mentioning you, you were the topic of our conversation. I want you to practice merging on and off that expressway, right? I want you to feel comfortable merging out in front of a truck, merging out behind a truck. Once you feel comfortable, like, okay, I'm gonna make a custom driving plan. If you were one of my clients, okay, I wanna get you in the neighborhood. If you can make you know, four right turns through the neighborhood, four left turns through the neighborhood, that's a win. Um, if you can go up to the corner and wait for traffic and make a right turn when it's clear, that's a win. I wanna see you make left turns at intersections. If you can do that consistently, yielding for traffic, making your left turn in the nearest lane by the double yellow, that's a win. If you can merge out on the expressway without much help from me, your instructor, and you can get up to speed properly, that's a win. Um, if you can stall park, you know, where you're pulling into a spot, um, that's a win. If you can go through a roundabout, if you can do most of the, and four-way stops, if you understand how to do a four-way stop, first car to get there, first car to leave, that's a win. Tell me where you are in your journey. So my struggle is really the highway, the interstate. It's, I, um, I think I had told you my friend was in a wreck where she got mad and started going fast. No, I didn't tell you. Well, anyways, the friend was going really fast. I told her I didn't want to go somewhere with her. So she ended up crashing into the back of somebody. So that has truly traumatized me. So the higher speeds on the interstate, I'm a little scared. But I've been on there, but I'm just trying to, you know, the anxiety, I guess. Destiny, I'm, I'm going to follow you. Um, I'm clicking on it. Uh, I, Destiny, I just followed you back. Okay. Okay. So now we're one to one. You know, you know Destiny, um, take your time. You know, a lot of people who are 18 and up, first, they got to get to the Secretary of State. You've done that. Um, they got to have someone take them over there. You've done that. You got to pass that knowledge test. You've done that. Now you got to have a friend or a family member or caregiver to support you. You've done that. You are almost there ready to take your test. Um, practice it until you feel comfortable because life happens. Maybe you have a child. Maybe you got a job. Maybe you're tired. Maybe the person who helps you, they're tired. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay 
you have to be committed to set a date for your road test because if you don't, oh, I'll do it next week. Oh, I'll do it next week. Oh, I'll do it next week. And next week will be two weeks and then three weeks and then a month. So practice, but set a date for you to go get that road test. And if you're a little shaky merging out, like a lot of people are, mm -hmm. keep practicing it until you feel good. You are so close. And then, you know, learning is forever. You, we improve every day. I'm learning when I'm driving in the snow. Um, I'm learning when it's rush hour. I'm learning when I drive at night. You are here. God brought you here. I followed you back. I'm here to help you because I'm a passionate person. And I want, if I could drive the whole world, if I could teach driver's ed to the whole world, I would love that because it would be so fulfilling. Um, and you will overcome those challenges and it all takes work. My biggest challenge I think was making left turns because you have to time it for traffic and probably merging out on the expressway and then the the stop sign stuff um i think a lot of beginners just don't want to stop at the red light you have to stop you've got to look left you've got to look right when it's clear um i think a lot of people road rage too and they're such in a hurry you're trying to follow the rules use your blinker and I think you just have to be patient and learn at your own pace. Yeah, I think having someone to talk to and kind of be like, hey, this is where I am. It honestly helps a lot, even when I wasn't in your lives, but I could just watch your videos. It helps a lot because you have a voice that's calm, but it's stern and it's like, okay, you got this, you got it, come on. What's up, gang gang? What's up, 21 Mile gang gang? I got some people on here, what's up, gang gang? You know what, uh, what I've learned be passionate when you're on the platform. Um, be real. I'm I'm a loving person, um, you know, and I've been on the platform almost three years. I love teaching people how to drive. I'm a certified instructor in the Midwest, and being on this platform has made me a better teacher. It's made me think about how I can help people. Um, not just in car, but how to take the knowledge test, how to do parking, how to merge, rules of the right of way, um, roundabout. I can never get tired of doing this type of content because I'm very passionate about driver's ed. And wherever this platform will take me, whether it's doing test prep, um, doing in car, uh, maybe doing a live when I teach class and I can draw on the board. Uh, because of COVID now, I do online driver's ed. Prior to COVID, I was in person, but that works for me. Will I go back into the classroom? Maybe. Um, I think this platform is a great opportunity for teachers. I'm a teacher. I do driver's ed. Um, I've inspired you. Uh, I don't follow many, many people back. You talked to me, you connected with me, I followed you back. So now we're going to have conversations. I just want to get you there and I'm going to be your coach. I'll be your personal coach um, to help you uh, get that merge, to help you parallel park, to help you reach your goal. And it's all mental preparation. Um, I think a lot of people just don't get out and drive because they don't have a car or mom or dad are tired or there's always a boyfriend holding them up, a girlfriend holding them up. There are always a lot of people who maybe want to hold you back. You got to want to do this for yourself. And I think once you do it for yourself, then you got to put gas in that car. You got to do the insurance. You got to but you'll be ready for that opportunity because then you can get a better job or, you know, someone, us talking now, we are inspiring other people. I'm inspiring you. You're inspiring me to be more passionate, to go live more, to connect. Um, it's not about numbers. It's not about, um, you know, what I can do. If I have truly helped you, then I'm happy. I'll take that to heaven. 
and that will make me feel good because I love teaching people how to drive. So, um, so many different stories. Young lady, I'm not going to mention her first name. She was in a, a very traumatic relationship. Mm -hmm. She left the state. She did not learn how to drive. I taught her just before COVID and um, she passed. Um, and then she was ready to get a job. So I have those tear jerking moments that I really don't share a lot, but it's bigger than me. Uh, driver's Ed is bigger than you, bigger than me, just to help someone get out of the house. Um, I taught a young man with one arm and I'm like, how am I going to teach him? What am I going to do? So I had him make right turns and he showed me how he turns and I just helped him. Uh, a lot of my drivers, because I've taught over 10,000 drivers, a lot of my best drivers have been females. They listen. They want to work hard. They want to improve. Um, I enjoy teaching and I'm always looking for new technology, new things to help you, myself. Um, and I always want to keep growing. I did a couple of um, like classroom sessions. I had my phone down on the table and I went over some actual driver's ed uh, class stuff that I have. So I'm going to do more top down views like that. I think that could be helpful for you once you get near to take your test. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Destiny. You need to be at 45 on the ramp. You need to be at 55. Here's what happens if you go too slow. You'll get cut off. Here's what happens if you go too fast. You might cut off a car. Um, once you get to that point, I think you'll be ready. Yes, I agree. And it's funny you said that um, you had students with like different disabilities. Yes. I, actually, I don't mind sharing. I have two amputated toes. I've had um, pins and everything put in my feet. So it's a little funny with trying to get used to the pedals and, you know, moving my ankles around. So it's really inspiring to hear he had one arm. I have difficulties with my feet and we're still able to kind of, you know, we can do it. You can do it. And don't let anyone hold you back. You you have to shine this is 2024 no one's going to do it for you your mom your dad your boyfriend your girl you have to want to look if Deion sanders can do it we can do it you know Deion sanders uh, the head coach of colorado um he's very motivational and i listen to him he had his his several toes amputated and he is still working hard to reach his goals so um you know, we, we can do it. Um, you have to find something that's comfortable. You got to have good shoes on. Um, but you want to have, for you, you want to have a comfortable shoe where you can feel the gas and brake. And I'm glad you mentioned that to me. You have to feel comfortable. Your car should be like your soul. Mm -hmm. Your steering wheel should be your soul. Your gas pedal and brake should be your soul. And you got to be one with your car. I'm really big on this. Be one with your car. Be one. So when you get out there, your instructor, your road tester, if you are comfortable and confident, they are comfortable and confident. If you're tight and nervous, they're going to be tight and nervous. Um, have you looked at some road testers yet in your area? Have you done some research? That was one of my questions for you. Um, did you know of like an instructor out this way or where I could potentially find one? Because the classes, they're wanting you to sit in a class. They want to talk to you for 30 hours. And I'm going to be honest, that's not <laughs> that's not it. I need the physical get in the yeah. car part. So I'm struggling. I want an instructor, but I'm I'm not gonna be honest. I'm not paying thirty dollars. I mean, not thirty, but the hour, the thirty hour classes. I don't want to do that. You don't need that. You are one or two. If if I was here in Tennessee, girl, I would help you. But I'm gonna help you by um off. You know, I followed you. Once we connect, I'll send my number, email. We will talk. You need. You need to have a couple of one-on-one -on -one sessions with an instructor, get that confidence up high, get it boosted, and then you're good, my girl. You're almost there. 
Um, you know, when you said, oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, you know, when you said you were teaching before co and then COVID happened, but she was learning. It's funny because I actually paid for some sessions and I felt so comfortable, right? I was good. I didn't have a car at that time, so I couldn't take that practice and put it into the works. But I feel like if I would have had a car at the time I paid for the classes, I would have been fine. So now I'm having to backtrack and catch up, but it's going to be all right. It will be all right. Don't put that pressure on yourself. You are so close to being there. No, you don't need 30 hours. You don't need a whole new class. You need maybe one or two sessions. And it's so important um, that you find a comfortable instructor, maybe even a female instructor, you know, youngish. You know, you got to be 21 and up to teach driver's ed. You've got to take the classes through the state. You need someone. I'm not age discrimination. I'm just telling you the truth. You need someone you know, late 20s, early 30s, or maybe someone like me, a chilled uncle who, yeah. you know, people who teach drivers, they, they love people, they love cars, they want you to be successful. Um, you know, offline, um, you know, once we connect and I followed you back, we have to find, I will look, I will be that voice. It's, it's, it's God sent. And you know what's funny? One of my coworkers, she has a son who's 16, and because of me, she wants me to be his instructor. So things are powerful, right? They're good. So um, I will help you in that journey. I will ask the right questions. And then I'll report back to you because, um, you know, it's almost February. January is almost over. And you want to get going, get comfortable, and get in at your pace. Yes, my birthday's next month. Hey, let's let's plan. Is that at the end of the month, the beginning? It is. It's the twenty fifth. It's towards the um, end. Okay, so let's plan a goal. Let's get you there. Um, real talk. This time of year, driver said it's kind of slow. Uh, you know, people are coming after Christmas. You know, money's kind of tight. You might want to be able. To, you should be able with my help, mm -hmm. with your help, us together. You, you want to. You want to, it's not enough to call on the phone. You want to see this person. You want to connect with them. You'll see them and like, you're my guy or you're my girl. And, you know, when I see a lot of young people and they're so scared in driver's head, mom is holding them to them, dad is holding on to them. And then you see them grow up from when mom and dad leave class. Or I see their faces when they first get in that car and they're nervous. And I asked mom and dad, is this your first kid through? No, it's my third. Okay, go ahead, get in the car. Oh, this is my first. So I have my kid gloves on. One of my bosses told me that. Have your kid gloves on, show love, show care, show support. Definitely. It's the, I think having someone in the background, cause I feel like a lot of us don't have that family dynamic that you got this, you can do it. So a lot of us are doing it on our own. like. No one would help me. I bought my first car. My friend was like, all right, we can we can work on this. So having another person that's like, I believe in you. I think that helps a lot of us. So watching your lives, I jump in at any point that I can to catch them. It, it means a lot. It does. You you really make me smile. It This this platform is bigger than just you and I. It's helping people. It's connecting to people. I do read my comments because it's about impact. It's about growth. It's about helping people. And I will help you because I'm committed to you. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna tell you a quick story before I let you go. I came in this morning, one of the ladies at the door, she said, do you want a hot cocoa? I'm like, yeah, I was freezing. That almost made me cry because that hot cocoa warmed me up. And we all need to show love. We all need to show care. We all need to help people. Um, and I didn't have that growing up, but the world is still a beautiful place. There's still people who want to help, who want to teach, who want to see you grow and see you be successful because what goes around comes around and you are very, very close. So I did follow you back. Um, I got to go ahead and pick up my Singapore noodles. I'm at the Chinese food restaurant. I'm going to pick that up and, um, um, it is 524 Eastern Standard Time. What time is it there where you are? Four. 
Okay, see, you're an hour behind. Um, I'm going to go live tomorrow, probably sometime in the afternoon. Um, when I go live, it's for a purpose. I prepare my students. I'm teaching you some elements of driver's ed because I'm an instructor. Um, so I followed you back. I'll send you a message. We'll plan and prepare. And then let's get you ready. So hopefully you can take that test on your birthday and we can try to find you an instructor in that area that can match what you need, what you want. Hey, I'll be your voice. I'll make that call. And, you know, hey, here's my niece. You know, um, we, we got to find an instructor for her. Who do you have? You know, um, I read reviews online. Um, I, I called a couple of driver's ed companies uh, from, from the platform, one in uh, Illinois. Um, you know, you got to look at them. Are they old? Are they young? What type of cars do they have? Um, you know it once you feel comfortable. Definitely. I don't want to hold you up to get your noodles. It was one more question. Um, Go ahead. It's another question. She said, um, I failed my driver's test, and one of the reasons was because my turns were too slow. How slow should I turn? Um, you want to answer that for her? Sure. Um, in turns, um, you want to go in about 15, 10 to 15 miles an hour, um, and you want to accelerate through your turns. A lot of beginners go too slow in the turn, and then they're slow going out, so the car does not accelerate. Um, what I want to see her do is get in that neighborhood, make those right turns, make those left turns. Um, now it's different on the street. Now you're going to have traffic. Now you're going to have cars. Um, sometimes that panic sets in and you kind of panic. And I see one of my students driving. I see one of my students. Uh, I'm going to share this quick story. Her dad owns a restaurant where I'm getting my noodles. Uh, her dad set up some private drives. She's driving. I got a tear in my eye. Wow, her dad bought her a car and she did not want to drive for almost a year. He so he 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 said, Hey, can you teach my daughter? I'm like, Yes. So I smiled. It's like you seeing your child grow up and and they're got they got a job, they're doing well, and you don't want things, you just want to see them. So go slow into your turn and accelerate halfway out. Accelerate halfway out. Um, I love going live with you because I trust you and you're real and you want to reach this goal um and whenever you see me live and i see you we can join in together because this conversation needs to happen it should happen um now how many people can we have on the live two three four you uh, i know at least ten well i'm gonna invite another person in you got a few more minutes yeah that's fine okay let's go i invited another person in and I, I would, you know, I want to have these conversations and the platform has really improved to have more people come in. And uh, that is really, really beautiful. Um, so we will roll from there. Um, so Destiny, you just got to get out and practice. You got to feel comfortable. And, you know, um, have you driven in the winter? Have you driven in the cold? No, so um, my last surgery was on my what, my 23rd birthday, I think. So I'm trying to get used to the cold again with like the feet issues. But yes. right now, we have a, um, I don't know what they call it, where they're telling us not to drive because it's ice. All our streets are ice. I don't know the exact term, but I'm not going out there yet. Don't, don't do it because it's just going to add more anxiety. Your feet are going to be cold. My feet are kind of cold in the car and I'm just parked here. Um, you got to make sure you have to make sure you are physically comfortable with good shoes that you can feel your feet. You can feel the gas pedal. You can feel the brake um, driving in adverse weather. And we had a couple of days like that, too. I had to cancel drives uh, because I don't want to put myself in danger. I don't want to put my young drivers in danger. And it's just caring about people and helping them. Um, I'm scheduled to drive tomorrow. I'm scheduled to drive Sunday. Um, it's still cold. The side streets are still slick. Um, on the, if the temperature is below freezing, you're going to have black ice. It's going to be more challenging. So, yeah. But, um, I'm, I'm hard on myself. Like, I've always been 
like you have to do this you have to get it so me not being able to get it right off I frustrated myself I was very frustrated because I feel like am I not smart enough for this like what's happening you are smart enough and we all are hard on ourselves um you are so close to getting that next step driving and getting a license does not make you an adult um, getting a house does not make you an adult. These things will come. Everyone's situation is different. You know, maybe you were taking care of your mom and dad and eventually you're going to end up having the house. Maybe they're fine. Uh, maybe you already have a job that's close to your home, but you want to take another job that's an hour away. You got to travel there. You got to travel back. Um, there's so many different uh, situations. Um, so you have to find out the situation for you that is best. Just like me, I'm in a great teaching situation, good money. There's another job that's about an hour away. I can make about $20,000 more, but it's a way more work. It's way more responsibility, way more stress. You know, do I really want to put myself through that? Um, you know, it's an hour, probably 20 minutes there, hour, 20 minutes back, more wear and tear on my car. So we all have to Look at those situations. Um, whenever the weather is comfortable and you feel good, you know you you will get out there. Don't don't put pressure on yourself. I got it. I got it. You you will you will have it. Just be patient and you know set a goal for yourself. You you know your birthday's next month. That's the goal. Um, but also the, if the weather is bad and, you know, we got to keep that heat on those feet and those, you know, everything else, um, play it by ear. Um, and you have a support system here. Uh, I will definitely, definitely help you. I'm very grateful for you. You're you have like a little ray of energy that's like, you got it. We got this. It's coming. And it, it's most people don't have that. They're just like, you need to do this, 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 and this. And you can't connect with them. It's like, okay, you want me to pay you to teach me, but you're rude. No thanks. Um it's from my heart. And because I have great parents. Um, I have a great family. And you do us right to help people. Um, through high school, through college, through getting my first job, through helping people. And you know when people are real, you know when people are fake, you know when people are just doing it for selfish reasons, you do it to help people and help them reach that goal. So you will reach your goal. Um, and we all need a little support. I need support, you need support, we need support. And it's really good to talk to you know, an African-American lady. And that's so important because I've been reading a lot on the platform and, and that's a proud fact to find someone who's similar, similar religion, similar color, you know, whatever the case may be, those similarities to support each other. We all need to support each other and help each other. There are a lot of minorities that can't afford driver's ed. So I have a bigger dream to get a school uh, help those 18 to 19 year olds. And I'm still there. That still could happen. I just need to get that financial support and and help people um, reach that goal. So because when you give, you receive. Um, and it's about generational wealth uh, because a lot of our brothers and sisters are driving illegally and then they get caught and get in trouble. So um, there's a need and if I have the resources and the tools, I want to try to make that happen. The only one that's stopping me is myself because my daughter said, Dad, you should have did your own driver's ed company years ago. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. The insurance, the driver's ed car. What if I don't make it? But because of COVID, I can have an online class or I can travel, teach, and then get them to the Secretary of State. That's the hard part, getting them there, getting a car. That's the biggest step because I was teaching 18 year olds who are, who had graduated high school um, and it was very fulfilling. So I'm sharing a lot of uh, things that kind of give you a different perspective. And when you help people who are 18, 19, that's different than helping people who are 14, 15. And then I've helped people in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s. They all have a different journey. 
a different story. Yeah, definitely. I don't see your person. I don't think they ever came on. It's okay. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and get my Singapore noodles. Yes. I followed you back. Uh, I'll message you. We'll go from there. And then I'll do some research in your area. And then we'll make it happen. I just want to thank you. I'm glad you came on. We came on. I clicked on your image. I did follow you. And I'm going to, yeah, I did follow you. So it's great. I want to say thank you. And uh, maybe tomorrow, Sunday, we can uh, go on again, too, together, okay? I would love it. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You're awesome. Bye, Destiny.